Hey everyone, my name is Sailor Mew, and welcome back to Portal 2. Get into the game. Uh, last time we left off, we woke up Gladys, thanks to Wheatley. Yeah. And now she's testing us again for the next 60 semi years, and uh, she just called us a, a, a horrible person. The area is still in the ruins. <laughs> Yay, I got that on there. I think I know it. Not on the test. Most yeah, people really emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. Ah uh, yes, so the fat jokes begin. Glad to see you are a lovely piece of work. Very lovely. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. I almost walked into that. Okay, well we'll slow it down for you last. We'll do one purpose. Move out of the way. Step one. Okay. 
Great. Step two. Go over there. Okay, it's right there. Okay. Oh, you know what? Here we go. Now we can kind of see shallow from the back side. It's a work in progress. Okay. Keep Let's go. No, oh, good. Oh, God. It was the off. Your credit. I, I guess, guess you are listening, listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. Yeah. I hope you guys can hear me. I have to switch out microphones, so to speak. I have these headphones. I have a microphone attached to them. But they broke. Which I'm a little upset about. Uh, so I have to use these, and these are terrible. Not to mention my voice is hoarse because I was sneezing so much yesterday. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faceplate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. The results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Anyway, um, they're these cat headphones. They have they have cat ears on them, and they light up. They're pretty, they're pretty sweet. I found them. Because, shit. For a person like me, that's blows gain silly junk like that. It's a pretty sweet thing. How's that for you? Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too extensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Okay, no, actually, I will give her that. That is kind of interesting. Shows how far deep down we are. Away from the sunlight. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faceplates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself.
again. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers. So sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling, being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Um... She'll explain to me in a moment what she can buy that. That's cool. Jared! This gives you an idea what the cube's gonna be. So. Big, heavy thing hurling towards your head. Get it! Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Uh-huh. Yeah. It didn't sail over my head, Gladys. I, I got it. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? I'm sorry, I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Go, Go ahead and grab another one. Where is it? Oh, no. no. I fizzled that one too. Oh well. well. We, we have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely, absolutely worthless. I'm, I'm happy to get rid of them. I know. Okay, I, th that's Wheatley. Okay. Companion. Actually, I have a good idea what we need to do now. We're gonna be flying through the air. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill and its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. That's the time we need to take something with us. For instance, occupying you. How? I think that one was about to say, I love you. And they are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. And you're a terrible person.
This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. The turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There, if you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. You are terrible. Okay, well, this test is pretty simple. It looks a little complicated at first, but if you got an idea, go with it. Okay, well, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it right here. Um, I hope you guys can still hear me. Uh, if you like this video, please like it. Maybe leave a comment down below and subscribe to me. Uh, with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And in the name of the moon and for the sake of the earth, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.